What is up everybody and welcome to episode 7 of Living the Dream in Farming Simulator 2022. In the last episode we got this nice big old barn, bunch of extra equipment and now we're basically completely broke. So I'm kind of panicking. This is usually what I end up doing to myself so I don't know. I think maybe we have to do some contracts. I think this is growing wheat. We only have two fields now because the third field I set that barn on top of. This needs to be seeded still. Okay. Let's get my tractor and we'll seed this really quick. Hold on one second here. I'm not getting any desktop audio. Oh, where are we going? Hopefully that fixes it. Yes, it did. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so weird. Okay, where is... Let's use this guy. And my cedar is right over there. I bought this tractor. It's so cheap. So big. I just couldn't help myself. But I have a feeling that season one might be short lived and this billion millionaire might go broke enough to become an accountant again. So we're gonna have to see. He didn't wanna overspend. That was the thing I said the whole time. But he's slowly doing exactly what he didn't wanna do. Well not even slowly. We're like a couple months in, and he spent a million dollars. But that's okay. So like I said, we'll plant the field over here we need. The grass doesn't seem to grow back too quick. By the looks of it. Man, this is going to seed stuff quick. So we're going to lower the seeder. We're going to turn it on. We're going to back up a tiny bit. There. Hopefully that gets everything. The tractor with like the split in the middle is something I have to get used to. Especially when it comes to like backing up trailers. And I don't know, this field might be so small for a tractor this big. I don't know. I think we're going to seed it this way. And just keep doing like sections. <clears throat> and then we'll drive right to the other side and we'll keep doing that and we should still meet in the middle nice and that way I'm not making so many like three point turns he's definitely nervous I think once he gets this crop done he's probably going to go have a coffee with some of the locals Maybe see if we can start secretly making some of this money back without telling everybody how much money he's actually spent. Yeah, it should work out fine. Definitely not the most efficient, but should have used a smaller tractor, I think. Would have been a lot better. 
I love that truck and trailer. Definitely didn't need it, but I like it. Oh, I missed the spot. Okay, missed the spot there. Yeah, it's so tight. <clears throat> Not bad though. We'll figure it out. One row at a time, I guess. Let me know in the comments how you think this guy is doing so far. I'm not feeling as confident as I was a couple episodes ago, that's for sure. But I don't think he's giving up hope. He'll just have to grind for a while. Maybe put silage on hold and just make a bunch of money for like a season. Work really, really hard. Try to make back as much of that million dollars as you can and then just continue on. He's got $150,000 and enough equipment to honestly like do okay for himself for a while minus like maintenance costs and fuel and so I think a contract or two might perk him up a little bit maybe make you know sixty thousand a hundred thousand and make a nice time-lapse video Right now, until I get some like feedback from the channel, I'm kind of just guessing on like how to do all everything and what will be like good. And so I'd like to try time lapse video, and I do really need to make some money. So we'll plant this. Oh, I think I missed a chunk again. That's okay. <clears throat> like I said, we'll plant this and then we'll go look at the contracts. I do want to connect these two fields after I plow them once or after I like harvest them once. I think it would just be nicer to be able to keep going in like a nice straight line rather than stopping and turning one extra time for no reason. <clears throat> okay. I'm starting to notice a lot of the like town folks are walking by my farm a lot more than they used to. Checking things out I guess. Seeing what I'm up to. Especially now that we got some big equipment going on over here. They're probably laughing. We have the smallest fields in town. With some of the biggest tractors. Yeah, there's definitely some money invested in this farm. There's more square footage, I think, in like shops. Than there are even fields. Getting better at backing this up though. Okay. I definitely think the other tractor, even though it doesn't like pull as much, is much faster as far as like turning around and stuff goes. But slowly and surely we are getting there. A couple more passes and we'll be done with this. And then we'll find something to do for the rest of this episode. And then the next episode, yeah, I think we'll run our first time lapse of trying to make a little bit of our money back. I've also been uh, thinking about doing live streams, but I think I want to wait until 
<clears throat> the channel gets a little bit more popularity maybe so we can start a live stream with like a few people that are like interested in doing it and we can like schedule a nice time okay couple more passes it's gonna be tight here it's actually nice we did that last pass first you know we didn't end up doing that for the rest of it it's probably gonna save us a couple minutes Whoop. big correction there Whoop, wrong way. drop it imagine doing like the whole field and forgetting to like put your uh, cedar down <laughs> two more swipes is my guess well yeah two more swipes Yeah, I don't know. I regret buying that big barn, I think. Actually, I don't know. At this point, I'm starting to regret buying everything. I wanted to, like, take it slow. But I have such a hard time doing that. I spend money. If you give me money, I'll spend it. It's just the way I am. <laughs> In real life, too. Okay. I think we can nail this in one more pass. I think I was right. And then maybe we'll get that one spot we missed. I do want to get a roller. Because I don't want all those stones in my field if they don't have to be. Okay. One more pass, let's go. Damn perfection. And just like that, now we have both of our fields at least producing us a little bit of money. I think we'll go hit that one little patch. Which I almost just drove right over. Or drove right past, sorry. And just make sure that this spot's seated because I don't think it was either. Look at that. There, now the field is perfect. Turn off the cedar. There we go. So now we can go put the cedar away. Properly in the shed for the first time. Yeah, I think it's nice that at least the area is cleaned up. I don't have, like, equipment all over the place anymore. I know there's so many things I want to play with, but now I'm just worried about making a little bit of money first. Oh, well, it's not bad backing this up. Got our cedar, got our sprayer. Well, the thing hook up to the front of this. No. Will it hook up to the back of it? Because this would be one of those tractors that would have reverse drive, I guess. Oh, see?
His tractor, I should have got the reverse drive. If that was even an option, I don't remember it being one. But then again, I just bought this for sale used as it was. I didn't like upgrade it at all. So to be honest with you, it could have had a bunch of like features that I was scared to even look at. There we go. I'm the big trailer, eh? I don't know if I can get a tractor in there. Oh, I don't have to. <clears throat> I just grabbed it from that side. Okay. Let's pick this bad boy up. Put this away. Then at least everything's cleaned up. I'm going to get that trailer out of that barn. Yeah, it's nice back in... Oh! Spoke too soon. I don't think it's actually nice backing things up with this tractor. But I think it's just stuff that doesn't have like a bunch of different axles. Oh, that's going to fit perfect and look good because they're all orange in some way or another. Now we're just going to pick up that trailer. You know it is in there pretty safely, but at least then we'll know we have it if everything's in like the same spot. till we get used to like remembering what equipment we have and what we don't have. Sneak in close to this silo. Straighten up right away. Get this out of there. Oh, it's such a little trailer, eh? Forgot how small it was. Oh, it still has some product in it. Okay. Little flowery stuff. Oops. Canola. Where's canola? Oh, here we go. Oil mill, that's seventeen hundred, fifteen hundred. Let's go here. <clears throat> and then we'll check the map actually. Let's go here. See on the map where it is. Right here. Oh, it's so close to me. <clears throat> we'll see what a thousand liters or thirteen hundred, almost fourteen hundred liters of canola will get us. That was just a little bonus for buying the field. <clears throat> I forgot we had actually even harvested it. Find a spot for that truck and trailer. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content so far. And hopefully over time a couple more people end up checking it out. And whoa, whoa. People actually feel the need to like start commenting and like we get a little community going we are almost at our destination mine is being cut off by that car no harm no foul there it is again eh? he's mad at us 
<coughs> okay. Gonna make a right. And we are at our destination. Look at this place. This is an oil plant. Natural oils. Okay. Oh. The bird crashed. Sorry. But running into your building the first time I meet you. I. 153, 54, 55. Ooh, that was $1,600. It's a tough living being a farmer. That was nothing, eh? Chump change. But it was an income, so that's a bonus. I need one of these fields. Oh, whoa, I still have so much stuff there. Okay, let's get the other tractor and we'll go grab our attachments for bailing. Forgot about all that. Get everything to the shop. I think if I put the trailer, or the, yeah, the tractor on the truck and bring the truck over, I should be able to bring all the attachments back at one time. And I think that'll be a cool way to basically end the episode. <clears throat> wonder how hard it's going to be to back this trailer in. When your knees might feel weak. Okay. Whoa. Coming in hot. Okay. Hold on. Pull a little forward. Then this should turn it. Yeah. We're going to follow it. Nope. Follow it. Oh, nope. Crank it. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to do this one. Let's do this. Let's unhook this guy. We'll park him up front here so people can see the equipment that I own. Put it on the shoulder here with the truck. We're gonna get out. <clears throat> Let's go find our other tractor. Yeah, I like how the shop's getting full of stuff. Open this door. I'm gonna detach the trailer. Oh wait. I think I should leave the weight. We're probably going to end this episode here because, of course, my phone is ringing. And I will see you guys in the next one. I apologize. Take care and have fun.